Hello everybody, Jake, your resident content cowboy here, yeehaw, and there are a few things in this video that are all coming from leaks, and I'm just gonna put them all together because there's a lot to talk about, and I think uh, some of it's kind of connected and some of it not exactly, but I just wanted to say these words because I think they're pretty good words and I think you're going to like them. So here is some interesting information about new Pokemon coming to Unite as well as possibly a new map, the return of an old favorite. It's wild. Let's go. First, from El Chico Eevee, we see that inside of Ranked, from what he can see right here, he heads up to this little question mark and you can see Ranked Matches, Battle Map, Thea Sky Ruins, and Remote Stadium, five on five. So this is gonna be really, really interesting, obviously. What that would mean, of course, is that Remote Stadium would be coming back inside of Pokemon Unite as a playable map, inside of the ranked mode, in fact. Now, I don't know exactly how this is gonna function. Are we going to see, you know, the ranked mode work where you have a choice of which map beforehand like you could say like oh i'll queue for either one of these or you just queue for a ranked match and then it says you're heading to remote stadium and you select your pokemon after that is it completely you know unknown until you head into game i think the way that would make most sense is you make it random but you tell the player before pokemon selection what map you're going to be heading to and then this also presents some interesting things so thea sky runes obviously the newer map remote stadium however was the map that got reskinned for the holiday release right so it's possible that this is a timed exclusive with the map coming back with kind of the Articudo, uh, you know, winter sort of theme attached to it. But it's also possible that this is prepping us for bigger news and a bigger rotation of maps. Now, there's a lot that we know right now that's pretty huge. Oh, I guess I should, I should hit you with this one really quick. Hold on. From Eevee, Maridon is coming to Pokemon Unite. You can see it here, Maridon is coming to Aos Island. So there's information inside the game that we know Maridon is now coming to Pokemon Unite. I don't want to say I called it, but... <laughs> I called it, okay? And I Karidon is coming as well. Mark my words, we're, they're going to release like Mewtwo, X and Y. Maridon and Karidon are coming to the game, which means we're gonna get more Paldea. So we have Meowskarada coming, then we have Metagross, uh, Magikarp, why even say Gyarados? Because it's all about Magikarp. And then for Pokemon Day, we have Maridon, Karidon coming to Pokemon Unite. They could be testing out this multi-map system for bringing in a new map. And there's a reason to think that's possible. Not only because of them simply bringing Remote Stadium back, that being a map that they've played around with before, we could see this information come into Pokemon Unite in that version. So Eevee says they added every Paldea Mon in another file. I think if I'm guessing what the most likely version of this is, we're skipping a ton of boost emblems. Uh, they're not going in order anymore and we're going to land in Paldea for our boost emblems. They're gonna release on Pokemon Day. But it's also possible that we see not only these boost emblems coming to the game, not only these Paldean Pokemon coming to the game, but we see a reskin of the map or not a reskin of Remote Stadium at all, and we have a three map rotation inside of Ranked, which I think would be so freaking cool. I really don't even know who they'd throw in the center of it. I would love to hear from you in the comments where you think or what Pokemon you think they would put in the center of the map. You know, if it had a similar feel, I would love it if it had a different feel, like it had two objectives or something to fight over, but it seems like they could be prepping us for a multi-map rotation, and that means we could be having a Paldean map drop inside of Pokemon Unite. I think all of this would converge right around Pokemon Day. They have the big event. It seems like the Chinese release is getting very close. It's all kind of connected, uh, especially with some of that information that we saw earlier about Maridon and Crydon, if you watched my previous video about all of this. So I think it's very, very likely that we see a lot of Paldean themed things, and it could come to our map and we could have not only a two but a three map rotation inside of ranked which i think would be so sick 
And before I leave you, I didn't have a great place to put this inside of another video, but I did want to talk about the fact that Meow Scarada is coming to the game as a free event. So Eevee talks about this, uh, the free Meow Scarada event. During the event, you collect petals in four colors to obtain the Unite license for Meow Scarada. During the event, by completing challenge missions and collecting petals in each of the four colors, you will automatically obtain the Unite license. Missions for collecting petals are unlocked in multiple stages. New missions will be unlocked from the specified time once all missions from the previous stage are completed and the awards are claimed. By obtaining each color of petals, you can obtain a Unite license without completing missions. So just like the Mewtwo cave and the Zacian cave, you could pay to get the license early if you would like. After the event ends, leftover petals will be converted into AOS tickets at a conversion rate of two, two, three. So there you go. Um, for the first time in a little while, I guess not a little while, because both Mewtwo's were actually free with an event. Zacian was free with an event, but this is a Pokemon that is not a legendary Pokemon. This is a starter Pokemon from Paldea, and this thing is free with an event, which I think is actually really cool, and I would like to see more Pokemon come to the game who are free through events. So they reward players for playing a lot of Pokemon Unite. I think that's an amazing way to do it. And then if you want to have it, which they already essentially have inside the game, if you want to have it where people who are shelling out real do re mi are getting the Pokemon early, great. And then if people are just playing the game totally free to play, they could also unlock those Pokemon. I think that would be a strong direction for them to move forward with a lot of the releases inside the game because it sort of rewards both audiences, right? It rewards the uh pay to play players who are you know the ones funding the game you want to give them something for the money that they're contributing to the game and then it rewards the free to play players who are playing a lot of this game and keeping the game active and exciting i think that's actually a pretty cool solution to getting a lot of players playing and also rewarding people who want to spend money inside the game there are other leaks that uh, el chico evie's talked about oh one that i think is cool that i do want to show you so here are some of the Hollowware coming to the game. We have the Dark Lord style Mewtwo's from the Battle Pass. We have the Dark Magician style for Dragapult and Sableye, which is pretty interesting. Fashionable style Zeraora. We've got some holiday style, some New Year's style, this Blastoise and Wiggly. I believe the New Year style is for the membership. We have the Phantom Thief, Meowscarada, and Metagross. So Metagross, Meowscarada, and Inteleon, all with the Phantom Thief. Um, and we have different uh, shading for a few of the Hollowers we already have. And then Wanderer style Lucario, which I think will look pretty sick. I think one of the most exciting things about seeing this is that when you see that you've got a nice piece of Hollowware for Dragapult coming, that could lead me to believe that they're actually gonna take a look at someone like Dragapult and they're gonna go, okay, can we tune this thing up a little bit? Because I feel like Dragapult's just been outside the meta for so long. It doesn't need huge buffs, but just a slight little tuning here or there could really be exciting for Dragapult. So again, a ton of stuff. The thing I really wanted to talk about, of course, was the new map in Paldea. Maridon coming to the game, but there's just so much exciting stuff. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I love you very much. I'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm. Nerf Maridon. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna, they need to nerf it already. <laughs>